Even the candidates acknowledge it's been a bit of a farce. Alexander van der Bellen was elected president in May, but a narrow margin and procedural errors meant Austria had to choose again between his open border liberalism and this man's right-wing nationalism. Norbert Hoffer's Freedom Party is anti-immigrant and increasingly popular. For this rural family firm, which crafts Austrian wood into Austrian houses, Austria first is a beguiling message. We're 20 kilometers from the Hungarian border. Lots of Hungarian companies do business here. We can't really match their prices. I think van der Bellen will probably attract even more foreigners to come here. And that's what we don't need. In Vienna, they want change too. The country is losing patience with the political mainstream, but Norbert Hofer horrifies urban voters. Austria has become a country that is dictated to by Brussels. Whatever they ask, we sign off. That's not okay, so we want a bit of change. In a way, Hofer could offer that, but it's too difficult to vote for him. Tonight, the world is watching Austria. Voters may have rejected a president from the far right, but Norbert Hofer came close, and this election has revealed deep divisions within a country and highlighted once again growing discontent with Europe's political establishment.